In this video, we are going to cover the best practices for creating effective templates. First of all, when creating templates and in general, in sending communication via WhatsApp, it is best to follow the best practices in order to yield maximum result. In this video, we will talk about four best practices that you should follow to get the most out of your WhatsApp strategy. First is the use of stop button. It is very crucial to use an opt out button or stop button so that your customers can click on the stop bot to make the stop bot active. For this, we are going to go to double tick and in the bot section, we are going to activate the stop bot. Firstly, the use of stop button. It is very crucial that you use an opt out button or a stop button so that your customers can opt out of communication from you instead of blocking you and reporting to Meta. Here's how you can set up the entire opt out process. First, let's go to bots and click on stop. In the bot studio, we are going to activate the stop bot. When you activate the stop bot, double tick will automatically opt out the customers if they send you your opt out keyword, which is stop. You can define a template that you can send after they send you the stop message to confirm with them that they have been opted out. Here you can click on the change message and customize your own message. Once a customer gets opted out, then if you try to send them a broadcast, the message will not be delivered to them. If you manually want to opt them out, you can go to the chat and on the right hand side panel, you would be able to manually opt in or opt out your customer. And on the right hand side panel, you will be able to opt in or opt out the customer. If the checkbox is ticked with a green, that means the customer is currently opted in for communication. If you want or if the customer requests to opt out of communication, simply uncheck the checkbox. So once you opt in a customer back manually, the customer will start receiving messages from you again. The next point is personalization of messages using variables. As we saw in the template creation video that we can create very beautiful templates with personalization such as the customer name. Personalizing your communication with customers have been proven to increase conversion rates and sales as people who see information relevant to them automatically pay more attention. So always make sure to include the customer name while sending messages to customer so that they feel a sense of personal connection with your brand and pay attention to the messages you are sending. Next, we are going to talk about use of effective CTA or click to action button to drive higher click through rate. Always use a CTA button to get clear and easy responses from customers. Without CTA buttons, it will be hard to track which customers are interested in your offer and which aren't. With a clear CTA button, your customers can simply tap to either request a call back or avail offer and you can then export these leads in one click into a Google Sheet or your CRM so that your sales team can call and close the leads. Here we are going to quickly show you how to create a template wherein you can put I am interested or other avail offer buttons. One tip I would like to specify over here is that while making CTA button, please ensure that the button text is not too long as the text gets truncated 
or cut off on the WhatsApp mobile app at the customer's end. For example, if you can see that here the button texts are long. First of all, you have a character limit of buttons of 25 characters in every button that you are putting. But we recommend that you keep the click to action buttons really short. So please make sure to use short and effective CTA buttons as they are very important for every campaign to get high ROI or return on your investments. Also, don't forget to hyper customize and personalize the messages using more and more variables containing the customer's personal information like name or loyalty points or similar that would highly engage your users and customers with the message. Thanks a lot for watching this video and I hope with these tips and tricks you are able to achieve high ROI from the broadcast campaigns you are running.